Hey there guys, as you know, Anthony Joshua has finished his training camp. For the past three weeks, he has been preparing in Miami. He started his camp in Sheffield. It was a long camp, but for the final three weeks, he went over to America to climatize to the time zones and everything else that comes with fighting on the road. So in Miami, he hasn't been preparing in a normal boxing gym. Previously, Anthony Joshua has trained in gyms that have been home to many world champions as they have prepared for their fights. But this time in Miami, it's completely different. He has changed things up completely. His strategy is very similar to that of David Hay, who used to train in his own gym, a makeshift gym tailored to him. And that is what Anthony Joshua has done in Miami. Something a little bit different. Something that Anthony Joshua has not done before. Taking a leaf out of David Hay's book, perhaps. I mean, it seemed to work for David Hay, especially when he was in his prime, winning world titles in the cruiserweight division and the heavyweight division. Perhaps Anthony Joshua is looking at different ways to train and how he can improve his training camps and probably get more focus also, because I guess going to a normal boxing gym can be quite intense. So if he can go somewhere where he can live life like a hermit, just train, sleep, eat, and get ready for his fight. That is what he has been able to do in Miami. Whereas his normal setup can be quite mentally draining, I would imagine. And with people coming and going all the time and different media outlets looking for interviews, I'd imagine it would be a nice breath of fresh air to get away and just focus on boxing, because that is what he is at the end of the day. Now, his gym is nothing fancy. It is just a gym, it has a few weights and has two boxing rings, one big one and one smaller one. He did say he prefers training in the smaller ring because there is nowhere for him to hide, much like when he is in the ring with an opponent that wants to take his head off. He has posted videos and pictures of this gym on his YouTube channel and on his social media. And it's not fancy, it's just a boxing gym where he can fine tune his boxing skills. Even one of the bags when he was hitting it fell off the wall. But it's just a boxing gym where he can prepare. It does not matter where you train, it's just the fact that you put in the work and prepare for your fight. That's all that matters and that is what Anthony Joshua has been doing. Remember, your body does not know where you are training. It only knows to adapt to the stress that you put it under. I mean, listen guys, it's a boxing gym. It's not gonna be all that much different from what he would have normally trained in. It's just different surroundings and just a different experience for him, I guess. It's a boxing gym, as I said. I believe the only thing that would impact it is superstition, if that were to come into it. It has all of the equipment he needs and his trainer can go over there and he can get a good session in and prepare for Andy Ruiz. Now, previously in his camp, he would have been training for Gerald Miller and the change in opponent after Gerald Miller failed a drugs test would have obviously changed his training slightly. Not too much though, because I believe they went with Andy Ruiz because he is quite similar to Gerald Miller. At the very least, he is the closest to what they could get in the heavyweight division. Obviously, there were rumors of Michael Hunter and Trevor Bryan, but I mean, possibly they were just looking for a payday and Andy Ruiz was the most game opponent. And as I said, He's the closest to Gerald Miller that they could get. And Anthony Joshua has been preparing for Gerald Miller. So having a similar opponent won't change his training too much. Now I've said this before, but I think Anthony Joshua will need to be slightly lighter than he would have been going in against Gerald Miller. Because Miller would have been a more physical opponent, more grappling and more holding. Whereas Andy Ruiz will not be doing that. He will be working on the inside. In fact, I think that will probably be his plan of attack. Try and get on the inside and ruffle AJ's feathers. Try and disrupt his rhythm because Anthony Joshua is fighting for the first time away from home. So Andy Ruiz has an opportunity there, especially where there might be some nervous energy coming from AJ. Anthony Joshua will come out and try and box Andy Ruiz, but Andy Ruiz will try and have a fight with AJ, which will make for a very good fight. Guys, it is not long now. Are you excited? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.